Satnam, and good evening, welcome one and all to the Sagittarius New Moon and Solar Eclipse Circle here on 3HO Foundation Facebook Live. I, uh, my name is Mary Dew, I will be ho your host for this evening, and I thank you for joining me. If you have a moment, drop a comment, let me know where in the world you are joining from. I am coming to you live this evening from Northern Michigan in the U.S. And so I am in the Eastern Time Zone, and for me, the Sagittarius New Moon and Solar Eclipse are coming not tonight, but tomorrow night, overnight, um, actually right around 3 a.m. Eastern on Saturday morning, December the 4th for me. And so just, uh, that's Eastern time, just figure out what that converts to for you. So we're doing this a little early. Um, usually we do it the night before with it being in the overnight. Wanted us to have a chance to work with the energies before we actually come into the night of the uh, new moon and solar eclipse because we have some really powerful energies going on right now. You know, we're here, we're in eclipse season, and we're just kind of coming from, uh, not even two weeks ago, we just had this uh, almost total but partial lunar eclipse with the uh, Taurus beaver moon, the Taurus full moon that we just celebrated a couple weeks ago in our last circle. And now here we are in a, uh, with a new moon coming, new beginnings, and with a solar eclipse coming, which actually is a total solar eclipse, but uh, that partial lunar eclipse was the longest in almost 600 years, um, almost four hours long. This solar eclipse that is coming in the wee hours in the Eastern time zone on uh, Saturday morning is only going to be a couple minutes long, uh, but it is a total solar eclipse. And the solar eclipse is not going to be seen actually in most parts of the world. The path of the, to the total solar eclipse actually uh, goes across Antarctica. And so in Antarctica, they'll be seeing that total solar eclipse. And um, also, I believe in the southern hemisphere, some of the southernmost places, I believe New Zealand and Australia might be able to see it as well. And they can probably use a little inspiration down there right now. So uh, it's coming. Uh, it's new moon in Sagittarius. As we transition from Scorpio into Sagittarius, we move from Scorpio, which is a water sign, into Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. And wow, I don't know about you. I was watching an energy update the other day. I think it was Lee Harris. I don't know if you've seen him on YouTube. I love his monthly energy updates and he was saying that for a lot of people that the fire is coming in right now and I feel that I feel the fire coming in um, for this evening I made my theme uh, inspiration and ignition and so the idea of the moon being all about inspiration uh, and the sign of Sagittarius being all about ignition with the fire element and uh, Sagittarius is all about truth. Very important theme right now, truth. Uh, Sag also can relate to the media, so it's interesting to have truth and the media side by side. And it's also about justice and freedom big one with the freedom with Sagittarius as well and uh, and Sagittarius likes to have some fun and hopefully uh, it's been I don't know it feels like it's been a long year it feels like it's been a bit of a heavy year in a lot of ways maybe in some ways it was lighter than last year but in some ways I think we've been doing some really deep work this year and especially also coming out of November and uh, being in the sign of Scorpio that always takes us really deep into the emotional work as well and so hoping that maybe Sag can help us to light it lighten it up a little bit and, uh, and light up the fire around us 
So that's kind of an overview of what's going on in the energies right now and what we have in store for our circle this evening. And let's go ahead and drop in together and open this circle officially, open the container of our global moon circle by calling in the directions. So first off, take a moment to get grounded with me and let's connect our breath with three long, deep, conscious breaths. Taking a moment to find that comfortable seat wherever you are. I'm sitting on the floor, imagining myself on the earth. I like to lift up on the right hip and place the right sitting bone down. Lift up on the left hip, place the left sitting bone down and really settle into that balance between the right and the left sitting bones. Visualizing roots going down, a root going down from each, the right and left sitting bones down into the earth to ground you if you're sitting in a chair. That's totally fine as well. Still connect with your sitting bones on the seat of the chair and plant both feet on the earth so that you're connecting the soles of your feet with the earth as well to ground you. Take the palms face down on the knees. Go ahead and close your eyes. Roll them up to the third eye point with a deep inhale through the nose. Draw in the breath down deep into the belly, allowing the belly to expand the ribs, the chest, the lungs, the heart. Keep inhaling through the nose. Deep breath in, lengthening the spine from the earth to the sky. Pausing at the top with the breath held in. And then exhale on this first one, side out through rounded lips. Let something go. and begin to feel yourself grounded. First breath to ground. Deep breath in. Inhaling deeply into the belly. Again, allowing the ribs to expand, the chest, the lungs, the heart. Pause with that breath held in. Let it spread across the chest. And on this one, we're gonna exhale through the nose, keeping the length of the spine. Exhale powerfully, draw the navel in to press the breath out. Second breath to balance and feel yourself in balance. Balance between the right and left sides of the body, between the front and the back of the body, and between the earth below, the sky above. Another deep breath in. This one, visualize the breath coming in through the heart. Really filling up the heart with that breath, with that life force energy of the prana that rides in on your breath. Allow it to expand your heart, swirl in that heart space, clearing out your heart space. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, and then pause with the breath held in. Drop the shoulders, open the heart. And exhale. Let that breath come out through the heart, clearing out anything that is blocking your energy in your heart space, opening up to the new beginnings of this new moon to be able to come in and expand into your heart space. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. And if you know the orientation of where you're sitting, we'll begin in the east as we call in the directions. Take a moment to turn and face the east with a deep breath in. Deep inhale as we welcome the east to our circle this evening. Season of springtime and the element of fire. The east is the void. It's where all things begin and it's all about new beginnings, infinite possibilities, much like this new moon in Sagittarius. Turn and face the south and welcome the south to our circle this evening. The south is the direction of beauty. South is the direction of the heart. It's the season of summer, the time when all things bloom, and it's the element of earth. And the south is also the container, the container of support, and so we open the container of support as we ground and open our circle for the Sagittarius new moon and solar eclipse, the global circle this evening. Turn and face the west, welcoming the west to our circle this evening, the season of autumn, the element of water. The west teaches us all about letting go and releasing that which no longer serves us in order to make room for the new. Turn and face the north, 
welcoming the north to our circle this evening, the season of winter, the element of air. The north is all about knowledge. It's the direction of the teachers and the gurus. And the north is also the direction of vitality and power. And so we open it up to bids for power as we welcome the north to our circle. Deep breath in, take the hands up, the heart up, look up and welcome Pachatata, Father Sky. We welcome the Sagittarius new moon. We welcome the upcoming solar eclipse, just a little over 24 hours away. And we thank Pachatata, Father Sky, for all the inspiration. Bring the palms down to the earth. Maybe bring your heart to the earth and welcome Pachamama, Mother Earth, to our circle this evening. We give her thanks for always grounding us and we welcome and honor and respect our Mother Earth. Without our Mother Earth, there is no life that can be supported. And so we give deep, deep thanks and welcome her to our circle this evening. Bring the left palm to the heart center, place the right palm over the top, close your eyes with a deep breath into the heart, honoring the divine and sacred purple flame within each and every one of us, connecting our divinity, recognizing great spirit within each and every person in this circle, connecting our heartbeat to the people to the right and to the left of us in our global circle as we surround the globe, and connecting our heartbeat to the heartbeat of the earth. And so our circle is open. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, um, and welcome. So let's talk a little more about the Sagittarius new moon. I always like to draw us a card to kind of expand into our theme for the, the moon circle of whatever evening it might be taking place on. And for this evening, I chose a little bit different deck. I kind of intuitively grabbed the one that was across from me on my desk earlier, and I grabbed the chakra reading cards, the chakra reading cards. I really like these. These are by uh, Rochelle Charman, and I think I got these maybe, I can't remember, Magic Planet maybe, um, the chakra reading cards. And the one that I drew is number six. And number six is balance. It's kind of got the little bit of the yin and yang symbol here. And I think balance fits in right alongside the idea of coming into this new moon, all these new possibilities, and the solar eclipse energy as well. And here's what it said about the balance card. It said, number six, balance. You've called this card into your awareness today as an indication that balance is required somewhere in your life. Mastering balance is certainly a work in progress and a powerful master key to a more harmonious and enjoyable life. You may have been feeling out of whack of late. Take a moment to see what is out of balance in your life. What have you been putting too much energy into or focusing on? Or what requires a little more attention? It's time to let go and stop pushing or trying too hard. Surrender and allow balance to bless your life. And the affirmation is, I am balanced in all aspects of my life. I am balanced in all aspects of my life. I am balanced in all aspects of my life. Wow, that one really resonated with me. I don't know about you, but when it said you might have been feeling a bit out of whack of late, um, wow, I've been feeling a little bit of, out of whack of late. I feel like uh, a lot of people perhaps have been feeling a little out of whack of late. The energy like we have, have talked about before, it's been quite intense and this eclipse season is no exception. But um, thankfully we have these practices, we have the idea of balance, we have 
the idea of grounding together and working together to support each other. By coming into these global moon circles together and uniting our energies as we set our new intentions on the new moons, uh, we're really putting powerful force of support behind those intentions by the support of the community in this circle, whether you're watching now live or whether you might watch later on on Facebook or on YouTube or any of the places where this is posted, maybe Instagram. Uh, just know that every time we unite, every time we meditate on these new intentions and when we do it together, it's exponentially more powerful even than when we do it alone because we have this collective support. And if you're feeling some heavy energy in the world right now, you might be feeling, as an empath, you might be feeling, well, feeling the energy of the collective. Uh, it can be quite a heavy energy. You know, we're traveling through uh, a photonic belt, from what I understand, in a, uh, an area of the cosmos where we have not been, this planet has not been in a very long time. We have this really high frequency photonic light showering the planet at this time. I don't know if you've noticed that, but during the day when the sun is shining, um, you know, it's, we're getting into winter now here in Northern Michigan, so I don't see the sun every day, but when I do, it's been exceptionally bright and especially uh, through the summer and I think that's part of the reflection of where we are in the cosmos right now and all of that comes into play as we work with these energies of the moon cycles and we work with the energies of the eclipses you know eclipses are wake-up calls and they're also portals they're powerful agents of change and eclipses give us opportunities to take really quantum leaps forward as we set intentions around them. Um, an eclipse has an, a, the ability to be able to actually jump you to a whole different timeline, uh, like a quantum leap forward, and to really make drastic changes in your life should you choose to do so and set your intention uh, to do so. A lot of times, uh, the new beginnings, which it feels like a big chapter is opening with this new moon and solar eclipse, um, we have this great opportunity for a new beginning, but it also asks us, as we're taking a step through that portal and that new beginning into the new chapter, uh, you know, what might be holding us back and what do we still need to let go of? And so, We'll talk a little more about that um, as we talk a little more about the moon. Uh, but that's just kind of a taste of where we're at and the energies we're working with tonight. And um, let's go ahead and, and take a few moments here to move our bodies around a little bit and then we'll talk a little more about the moon. But a lot of times it's nice to kind of you know, get your, get your feet wet and um, get acclimated to the energies and then move the energy around, you know, move the body, move any stuck energy, move any blocks, shake it up and allow the universe to put that energy back, puzzle pieces back into place um, and kind of uplift you. So find that comfortable seat wherever you are, take a deep breath in. Close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point as you exhale. Bring the left palm to the heart center. Place the right palm over the top. And we're gonna start with a little bit of breath work. So just follow me, take in four strokes in through the nose. Two, three, four, exhale, one solid through rounded lifts, four count. Inhale, four sniffs. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, exhale, rounded lips, powerful breaths. Again, inhale, sniff, 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 exhale, rounded lips. Find the rhythm in your breath. Sniff, 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 and exhale. Two, three, four. Inhale, two, three. Four. Exhale. 
Exhale, one solid breath. Inhale, four strokes. Two, three, four. Exhale, powerfully cannon breath through round the lips. Navel in to press the breath out. And again, inhale, two, three, four. Exhale. Just a couple more rounds. Inhale, four strokes, two, three, four. Exhale, one solid breath through the mouth. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, powerful cannon breath. Take the palms face down on the knees. Inhale, chin over to the left. Exhale, all the way to the right. Inhale, all the way to the left. Exhale, to the right. In and out through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Sitting nice and tall. Inhale. Inhale to the left, the belly expands. As you exhale right, draw it back to the base of the spine. Inhale. And exhale. Keep the navel moving. Getting that third chakra energy going. The seed of your strength. Powerful movement, powerful breath. Inhale left. Exhale right. Back to center, take a deep breath in, rolling the eyes up to the third eye point. As you exhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Exhale fully, draw the navel in, and then roll the head to the back as you inhale. Forward as you exhale. Inhale back and exhale forward. Take it slowly. Rolling the head on the neck and the shoulders in clockwise direction. Inhale back. Deep in the breath. Now take a deep breath in, come back to center, sit nice and tall. Exhale, drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Exhale fully, draw the navel in to press the breath out. And then inhale the head back. And exhale forward. Taking it in the opposite direction. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Inhale up toward the ears, deep breath in. 
Exhale all the way down. Good. And begin to roll from the waist. Inhale forward, exhale back. Really rooting into the sitting bones, allowing those roots to travel deep into the earth to ground it. Keeping the hands on the knees, just leverage. Rolling from the waist. Arching the spine forward, rounding back. Inhale forward, exhale back, breathe. The chin slightly tucked, head and neck long for the ride. Releasing any tension you're holding in your hips, your lower back. Breathe into it, melt it away. bones connecting with the earth beneath you, reaching the crown up to the sky above. And see yourself as a conduit of light connecting the earth beneath you and the sky above. Your heart right there in the center, full of light, breathe. Sit nice and tall, come back to center. Exhale, and then we'll end to press the breath out. Exhale fully, and then push off in the opposite direction. Inhale forward, exhale back. See if you can lift up out of the waist, allowing the belly to expand as you inhale, drawing it back as you exhale. Moving the navel with the breath. Still breathing in and out through the nose, just allowing the breath to travel all the way down deep into the belly with every breath. Take a deep breath in, 
sweep the arms out through your sides and up through your arms. Close the eyes, roll them up, reach through the fingertips, drop the shoulders away from the ears, root down through the sitting bones, reaching up through the fingertips, up through the crown of the head, keep reaching, keep inhaling. And then as you exhale, press the palms together, bring them down the center line, grazing the third eye on the way down. Now the thumbs come to rest at the heart center. Allowing the chin to drop, head bows to the heart. Deep breath in. And exhale, sweeping the arms out to the sides and bring them up to about a 60 degree angle. And then bend the fingertips into the pads. Angle the wrists out so the thumbs come up. Arms are straight and at about 60 degrees. Close the eyes, roll them up to the third eye point, and begin breath of fire, pumping the navel. Expanding your aura, three minutes, breathe. Sniffing breath in and out through the nose, pump the navel. Expands the aura, and it also puts the ego to sleep. That navel moving. You're activating that fire in the belly, that Sagittarius fire energy. Inspiration and ignition. Keep it going. Reaching up through the thumbs. Keep it going, you're doing great. Almost halfway there. Third eye focus. You might feel yourself heating up. So that breath of fire will do. Activating, igniting. The fire within you. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Just about a minute to go. Last 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Beautiful. Take a deep, deep inhale. And without opening the eyes, bring the thumbs to touch overhead. And then spread the fingers wide. Keep inhaling. Keep reaching. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Reach, reach, reach. And exhale. Sweep the arms down slowly through your aura. Clearing out any negativity, any stuck energy in your aura. Opening up to pure light all around you. Bring the palms face up on the knees and adjust your receptivity. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And with the palms up on the knees in this gesture of receptivity, repeat these three phrases with me. I am open to receive. I allow myself to receive. 
and I am worthy of receiving. I am open to receive. I allow myself to receive. And I am worthy of receiving. One more time. I am open to receive. I allow myself to receive. And I am worthy of receiving. Opening up to all the blessings of this new moon and solar eclipse. All the blessings of this new beginning. This wake up call, this portal with the power to jumpstart you, propel you forward into a new chapter of your own life based on your intention. So turn the palms down on the knees, back to that gesture of grounding, but still staying open, open heart, still open to receive, knowing that you are worthy of receiving knowing that you are allowing yourself to receive and giving yourself permission. And I just wanted to kind of share with you a visual that came to me when I was thinking about our gathering this evening. And I hope it'll be helpful to you. It was definitely helpful to me. So here's kind of what I saw as I was meditating on it. Basically, the idea of you're standing in front of a door. And this door leads to an aspect of your life. Um, this door is perhaps a door from the past. Maybe that door has been in front of you for a long time. And this door, as you're standing in front of this door, um, you're kind of banging your head against the door. The door you've You've been banging your head against this door. It's been in front of you. It's been closed for so long and yet it keeps coming back, keeps coming back. The door is kind of an analogy basically for a situation in our lives where we have the same situation. It keeps coming up, it keeps coming up. It feels like we're banging our head against this door and it's like, why, why, why does this keep coming up for me? So visualize that, visualize that door, that door that is at this point perhaps standing in your way blocking you from this new chapter, this next chapter that the new moon is bringing and you're banging your head against this door, maybe even just resting your forehead on the door, just exhaustion, frustration, this door has been blocking you for so long. And I invite you, instead of banging your head on this door to, without opening your eyes, just take a step back. Bring your left palm to the heart center. Bring your right palm over the top. Take a deep breath into the heart. Exhale. Open your eyes and see the door from a new perspective. And here's the question that came to mind for me. When was the last time you tried the doorknob? Try to get a new perspective on this door. You've been banging your head against this door, banging your head against this door. Maybe this door is a relationship that's been coming up for you that you felt stuck and you're just so frustrated, but can you step back? Can you take a deep breath, come into your heart space and try the doorknob? Because if it's been a long time, you might be surprised that it turns and all you have to do is open the door and walk through. That is my challenge to you on this new moon is to take a look at that, reflect on that image, that analogy, that, that visual within yourself and come back to this place, close your eyes again, palms down on the knees, or they can stay at the heart center, whatever feels most comfortable to you, but just take a moment and reflect on what has been blocking you in your life. And, you know, we usually do our releasing on the full moon and we just released a lot on this Taurus Beaver moon a couple weeks ago. And yet, as we look at this new beginning, this powerful new beginning of this Sagittarius new moon and solar eclipse, I think we first need to make sure that we've cleared the blockages out of the way. And so think about what keeps coming up for you in your life 
in your emotions, in, in your situations, in your relationships, and can you take a step back from whatever that is, that door that's been blocking you, and you know, maybe try a new perspective. Try the handle. It might just come right open and you might realize that it's only you that's been holding you back all this time. The other thing about Sagittarius is Sagittarius uh, really helps us take a look at our core belief systems and uh, shaking them up a little bit sometimes with that Sag fire lighting a fire under our belief systems, you know, are there older belief systems that are patterns that are perhaps ingrained, you know, maybe even from childhood in our very being, and are these old belief systems perhaps holding us back? Are they the doors that are blocking our way to this new beginning and this path and this portal into this next chapter? Think about that, and as you're setting your new moon intention, which you can either do this evening or even tomorrow evening, really leading into that energy of the, uh, you know, overnight, tomorrow night, at least in the east, we'll have that new moon, we'll have that solar eclipse in the wee hours of, of what's Saturday, December 4th morning in the east, 2.42 a.m., I believe, is the, is the uh, new moon on Saturday morning, December 4th, east coast time, and... Uh, the solar eclipse, I believe, happens at 2.34 a.m., just before the new moon. So take a moment and digest all of that and reflect around what you would like to set for your new intention on this new moon and make it a big one. You know, feel free to dream big and you can set an intention for yourself. You can also set an intention for Pachamama, Mother Earth, for Gaia, for our Earth planet at this time, and or for the collective and the energy of the collective at this time. Powerful time to set these new intentions. So let's take just a couple more moments to reflect on that, digest a little bit around that, to clear that doorway, open up that pathway, open up that arch into the new chapter, Maybe bring the palms together at the heart center. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, open your heart to those new moon intentions. Place those in your heart. And I also would recommend, uh, if you've got your journal, your new moon journal, take a moment to jot those intentions down in your new moon journal. Because the thing with eclipses as well is that this one, like I said, it's only going to be not even a couple minutes long for this total solar eclipse, but eclipses last a solid six months. They can last a solid six months after they actually happen. And so we'll be in the energy of this solar eclipse. We're still in the energy of that lunar eclipse, that powerful lunar eclipse we had just a couple weeks ago, and we'll be in the energy of this upcoming solar eclipse until May of 2022, if we look at six months. So that's a long ways away, a lot of energy there. And um, that's gonna close this out for the year as far as that'll be our last eclipse of this year. It's hard to believe that we're already in December kind of winding down the year. And, um, you know, around this eclipse as well, you know, anything you need to tie up any loose ends here in this last month of the year, opening up to the new beginnings, new possibilities of the new year ahead, as well as the portal of this, uh, this new moon ahead of us. And on that note, uh, I'd like to share the update from the power path. I always enjoy sharing the updates, uh, the new moon and the full moon updates from the power path. Um, you can find them at thepowerpath.com and these are written by my friend and spirit sister and teacher, wonderful, lovely, intuitive woman and singer and an amazing human being. Uh, Lena Stevens, here's what she had to say about the Sagittarius. New Moon it says, New Moon in Sagittarius with a solar eclipse is Saturday, December 4th at 12.42 a.m. Mountain Time. 
which is 2.42 a.m. Eastern Time. The solar eclipse is exact at 12.34 a.m. Mountain Time, and it is a total eclipse visible only in its totality in Antarctica. You can celebrate and honor this new moon in eclipse the night of the third as it is close to midnight Mountain Standard Time. This moon is full of intensity and can be challenging for those that do not have a solid sense of place, path, or spiritual practice. If sudden change occurs, take a moment to reflect on the opportunity this may provide instead of reacting negatively on impulse. Keep your attitude positive and stay out of arguments and judgments. As you either hear about or experience personally some less than ideal situations. Allow others to be just where they are, even if you don't agree with their beliefs or actions. Although we are ready for more community time, use this new moon for more personal reflection, building your boundaries and setting good intentions. What you dream now will follow you throughout the next number of months and gather energy for manifesting if it is on the right path for you. If you get triggered, ask yourself what it is related to that you have not yet cleared from your past. A new moon is always a good time for a reset. However, some resets require a release of something in the way. Stay positive, hopeful, and optimistic. There you go. Powerful new moon. Powerful time to set intentions. So we're going to go ahead and what I'd like to do is go around and release the directions, which will basically close the container of our circle for this evening. But I thought this evening I would kind of play us out with the crystal singing bowls um, on our way out. And I'll just share with you right now, before we release the directions, uh, we will meet back up two weeks from Sunday. And it's gonna be a little different for the uh, December full moon circle. So it's coming right around the winter solstice. And so our Gemini full cold moon circle for the Gemini full cold moon, the full moon, the December full moon, will actually be a part of the Winter East Solstice with 3HO Foundation. Uh, it's a four day event. It's got some amazing teachers, amazing events. There's sadhana every morning, there's music concerts, and it's all online, and it's all free to register, which is amazing. Um, you can register. I'll put the link in the description below the video when I get a chance to post that on the video, but I believe it's just esolsticeregistration.com. I'll double check that and like I said, I'll post the link, but you can also find it on the 3HO Foundation Facebook page. And uh, go ahead and register for the Winter East Solstice. Uh, my moon circle for the December full cold moon, the Gemini full cold moon, will be on Sunday. I believe that's December the 19th. Uh, the moon is actually on the 18th, but we'll do our circle on Sunday, December 19th. And this one's going to be earlier in the day. It's actually at 10.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 12.30 p.m. Midday Eastern Time, Sunday, December 19th. Gemini full cold moon circle, part of... 3HO Foundation Winter East Solstice. You register online and that one will be on Zoom. So you do need the link. It's free to register, but you have to pre-register to get the link. So I look forward to seeing you for that. And let's go ahead and take a moment to release the directions. Take a deep breath in. Between the left palm and the heart center, right palm over the top, and reconnecting with your heartbeat, recognizing the divine spirit within, recognizing the purple flame of your sacred heart. Bring the palms down to the earth, give thanks to Pachamama Mother Earth for supporting our circle and grounding us, connecting us all around the globe. Palms to the sky, give thanks to Pachatata. 
Hot Colors Guide, thanks to the Sagittarius New Moon. Turn and face the north, give thanks to the north, the season of winter, the element of air. To the west, the season of autumn, the element of water. To the south, the season of summer, the element of earth. And to the east, the season of spring, the element of fire, the direction of the void, where all things begin, opening up to the new beginning. together at the heart center with a deep breath into the heart. We'll close with one long satnam. Inhale to satnam. Thank you again.